So we're gonna start with the big three browsers and all of them are no longer supported. So the big three, if you didn't know, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. So Internet Explorer that runs on Vista that is still, well, not still supported, but uh, the last supported version was version nine. And uh, as you may know, Internet Explorer 11 is the latest one. And surprise, surprise, it is still on Windows 10. So uh, I'm gonna test a few websites on each of these browsers to show you how well they run. Uh, now, just to give you a heads up here, all of these are gonna give you, all these are gonna give me HTTPS errors, and uh, I'm not sure whether that's something in Windows or the browsers themselves, but that's just something I've noticed. Uh, so the first website we're gonna try is YouTube. All right, so there's our answer there. So basically we have this message telling us to update our browser. Your browser isn't supported anymore. Update it to get the best YouTube experience and latest features. So basically no YouTube on Internet Explorer. Another one I wanted to try was Facebook. I don't want to log into Facebook, but we're going to look up Facebook Marketplace. I'm taking them on a load here. And so as you can see, it just is continually loading. It does show some of the listings here. No photos are loading, giving me this uh, information telling me that it's blocked the website from displaying content with security certificate er errors, basically the HTTPS errors, and uh, trying to scroll through doesn't really yield much so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and call that a fail it does seem to handle MSN okay and we'll just check our task manager to see how much you, uh, how much is killing how much is taking here so as you can see our CPU usage is 100% it's using over half of our RAM which is still better than Chrome and as you can see we still get that certificate error issue but we mostly can see our content here, but we still can't really enjoy the website because it won't let us actually scroll. It continues giving us this security issue. All right, so we'll try Bing, and Bing actually loaded up pretty quickly, which is kind of surprising. And that works pretty well. So we'll give Bing a pass. Let's try Google search. All right, that seems to be all right. Okay, we'll give Google a pass. Apple's website. I will acknowledge that Internet Explorer 9 has less than modern standards for the web, so, but it's still popping things up and still letting us scroll. So I might give that a pass. Let's try Microsoft. And although it's loading slowly, it still allowed me to scroll on their main page and 
After a while, it somewhat lets you use the site, so I'll give that a pass. So the version of Chrome that we'll be testing is version 49, and we're quite a bit ahead of that. I believe it's in, uh, it's in the version 70s now. All right, so next to try is Google Chrome. And this is an older version. And obviously we're gonna get this message telling us it's no longer going to receive updates because it's, on, it's not supported on XP or Vista. So first we'll try YouTube out. And I did notice that I still get security issues here, but it will still load. Sometimes it'll give you the message that it can't, but it will. Uh, another thing I noticed here with YouTube is although it shows the web page, does give us a message telling us to update our browser, and then none of the actual thumbnails show up. So we'll go ahead and try to just click any video to see if they will load. So we've still gotten further than we did in Internet Explorer. All right, so we did get an ad. So we're still loading. Um, let me see if I can actually go to a different area of the video and see if it'll load from there. I have a feeling it won't. Let's see if we try another video to see if that will load. This is a live video, so maybe this will load, but we will see. Yeah, so as you can see, none of the thumbnails actually populate. And here we go. A playback error occurred and gives us a error there. So we'll give YouTube a fail. Let's try Facebook Marketplace. Okay, and Internet Explorer actually showed more than this, but as you can see, we're just given the login here for whatever reason. So let's try uh, going to Let's see. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, it's really not populating much. So I'm going to give that a fail. So Facebook is a no go on uh, Chrome. Well, we'll try MSN because we had MSN on the other one. Let's see how well that works. Page is not available this time. Interesting. We have a large Bing logo for some reason. Uh, so Chrome is failing quite a bit here. Let's try Bing. Bing seems to work pretty well. Well. We're able to scroll through search. And we have images, so that I will give a pass. Let's try Google search, although we already know it works because we've used it. So that's fine. Images load fine. Give that a pass. Try out Apple's website. And it appears it's actually loaded up pretty proper compared to Internet Explorer. So we'll try a link. Right, and you can tell there's some graphics definitely missing here. Yeah, quite a bit missing there. But we get the basic gist of it. Let's see if we'll show the technical specifications here. Okay, so we've got photos loading, basic specs, basic information loading. So we'll give that a pass.
try Microsoft's website here. So it's loading, but without photos, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it does work. You can click on links. So we'll go ahead and give that a pass. And we'll try CNN just for good measure, because that's a pretty graphic, heavy website. It's telling me my clock is ahead, which it's not. So it's actually not ahead. So we'll go ahead and uh, just say that's a fail. Next on our list of the big three is Mozilla Firefox. This one I actually seem to have the most luck with, so we will see how well it handles. All right, and the version that we're using here is Firefox ESR 52.9.0, and this is for 32-bit versions. So this is the last supported version that works on Windows Vista. So first we'll try out YouTube. So it looks like we're still doing better than both Internet Explorer and Chrome here. We have one thumbnail that popped up. Okay, well, we have thumbnails and images, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and try a video here. So we have an advertisement that popped up, correct. and but it's actually it's playing the video. It undermines the writer's message and the we've got our description, we've got some thumbnails loaded here. It is taking quite a bit of time, but I will call that a pass. So that's actually pretty great. We actually have an ad running, so we know that the videos work. And rather than push my luck and try to change the quality, I will just say that this is a pass. <laughs> so that is excellent. Let's now try Facebook Marketplace. And again, uh, it looks like it has loaded the marketplace. It's taking quite a bit longer to do, but we have images, we have listings, we have uh, a lot more loaded here than previously. So we'll try to click a link and see if it pops up here. All right, so surprisingly we have most of everything loaded here. We have our photos here. We can change photos. We have a map. We have the information regarding the listing. And while it is slow to load, I'd call that another pass. That's pretty impressive. And let's try out msn.com. So it actually shows up just fine here. And as you notice, we're not getting those weird security content issues which may be happening in the background, we just don't know, but so far it seems to be handling it a lot better than both Internet Explorer and Chrome. And while it is still loading, it's actually allowing us to scroll through the web page, and you can get your basic news and everything. So, so we'll give that one a pass. And next we'll try CNN. And CNN is a pretty graphic heavy website, so that's why I like to use it for speed tests and testing in this way. And as you can see, it does load it pretty well. 
after a while. <laughs> and next up we'll try Bing. And the search engines have pretty much worked pretty well across all the browsers I've tried so far. Now one thing I did notice when I was trying to look at the images is that it did take a considerable long time to actually get them to load. So although it shows them loading here quickly, it's because I cut out the portion where they were blank and not showing up and I was trying to get them to show up. And next up we check out Google and I just use the same search term Windows Vista to do each of these. And I once again had some issues with uh, the images loading on the images section. As you can see, it kind of uh, takes a while to load everything up there. And up next, we try the uh, Apple's website, and uh, it seemed to work best on Firefox. And up next I try Microsoft's website. So aside from Firefox taking quite a while to load images on some of the some of the websites here, uh, it was the best out of the three and was able to load most, if not all, of the modern content that we come to expect uh, on the internet. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I will have another one coming with some other aftermarket browsers that uh, do still support Vista. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.